Hey, yo, my heads, my name is Ray Jade, and it's officially the month of Christmas, which means it's prime time to get really scared and piss yourself. In celebration of the scary month itself, I killed a man, carved out a skull and eyes, put wires in the back of a skull, and put him on a little disc thingy. Fun for the whole family! But in the spirit of July 4th, we have to talk about something truly horrifying. Buttons! You ever played a video game? No, you haven't. Well, then you'll recognize these words. Press any button to continue. Press the any button. God, this video fucking sucks. When was it made? Oh, 2006. That makes sense. Comedy wasn't invented until the release of Crazy Bus. They were released after 2006, right? Title screens in gaming have been around for a long time. Ever since the arcade days, where developers would make little title screens to get you to play the game. Guess their old tactics didn't work. Hey! I am fucking gay, man! And even when home consoles became more commonplace, the title screen stayed. Yeah, you already have the game and everything, but the tactic was already widely used, so I guess developers didn't want to break the tradition. But title screens began to evolve as gaming evolved. Sure, some kind of stayed bland, with a solid color in the background, a logo, and text saying, Push start button! But games began to actually introduce you to the game world itself through the background and opening cinematics. A good example of this is the title screen of Super Metroid, released in 1994 for the SNES. Holy Shit, this is a good title screen. The eerie music and sound effects, the zooming in and out of the lab, showcasing a Metroid. This title screen is like the opening to a sci-fi thriller movie. Another good example of showcasing the world on a title screen is from 1991, the original Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis. This title screen does a great job of showing the world of Sonic and actually showing Sonic himself. This is a great title screen. Title screens kept evolving with title screens that showcase the world as its background or title screens with opening cinematics. And here we are in present day. Games are as popular as ever and as massive as ever with huge expanses and hundreds of hours of content. Let's see how title screens are today. Title screens can be great. Or they can be Mario Kart Wii. Some of my favorite games ever have the most absolute bland and uninspired title screens that show fucking nothing. Elden Ring could do with maybe some B-roll footage of the lands between in the background to get you to see the world and how beautiful it is. The title screen has great music, but it's so bland visually. I mean, I guess it's not a huge deal, but title screens are your first impression of a game after booting them up. So, you'd think they put in a little effort. But this isn't me saying all the title screens suck. Take a look at the recent God of War games. These title screens are pretty simple. They show you where you are right now, they show the characters, a little bit of the world, and they just look great overall. Compare that to Mario Kart Wii! Now don't get me wrong, Mario Kart Wii is probably my favorite Mario Kart, but I love talking harshly about games I love. This title screen fucking reeks! Yeah, it shows Mario and Luigi and it's got great music, but it's just the box art, and the white background is fucking ugly! Also, I think the title screen should actually match the game in some way. Whether it just shows off of characters in Mario Kart Racing, or if it shows box art like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it would be something. It's just not appealing to the eyes! I try to get off this title screen as quick as possible. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was luckily a return to the title screens of games like Mario Kart 64, where it's simple but effective. You see all these characters racing, even if it's just an image. And then look at Cuphead. What a gorgeous title screen. It shows you Cuphead and Mugman and in the DLC, Miss Chalice, showing you the animation, the style, and some beautiful music. And then there's Minecraft. Another great title screen. It's simple, it gives you the logo, a funky little quip, the buttons, and some footage of a Minecraft world. Minecraft Bedrock's title screen can fuck off. It's just... Ugh. It could be worse, but the buttons just look... weird. They don't fit and they're too big. But what about these title screens as scary? I'm just getting disgusted, not scared. What the fuck is that? You hear that? What the hell is that? Hold on. What is that? Huh. The music stopped. I hate when my house plays random music. I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be something behind me. Just you wait. Oh my god, it's the worst, most horrific, most abhorrent title screen of them all. CRAZY BUZZ! I gotta get out of here. Thank god, I think it's gone. Oh my fucking ow! That's like the third time I've been shot in like two months. Stop it. Well, how did a bus get a gun? You know, they call me street smart for nothing. Take that, idiot. Yeah. 
I killed you. Yeah. And I, I don't think Crazy Bus is, is gone. It's defeated for now, but it's gonna come back. I have a feeling. Whatever. I don't care. Phew. Holy shit, that was a scare I needed this Thanksgiving. I know Crazy Bus isn't done with me. It has photographic memory and will remember my face when it comes back. But we're all safe for now. Happy holidays, happy St. Patrick's Day, and have a day.